Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Avon here, and how are you this afternoon? Alrighty then. Um, today we're gonna be doing Star Wars Nights of the Old Republic. I want to give a few thank yous out. Um, my brother for letting me use the 360 and giving me this awesome sound system for the game. I haven't exactly adjusted it quite right, so it may be wavering. Um, but I think um, my inspiration for Paradri. Like, he didn't, like, exactly, like, come to me and say, hey, yeah, you know, you're doing good, but, like, he, like, watching his videos inspired me to become a YouTuber, so I want to give a shout-out to him. I want to give a shout-out to my friend Chance for letting me know that the small guy, he can pull through, though he still hasn't. And I want to thank my cousin James for being a jerk and putting a hole in my TV. If you guys see the little white dot on my, uh, on the screen, that is not a glitch, my cousin shot it with a... BB gun. So now there's a little bit, there's a little white spot on the TV. If you see it, I feel sorry for you. If you don't, don't go looking for it because all it's going to do is distract you and make you be like, oh man, now that's all I can see in this video is a little white dot. Trust me, it happens to me because I did not know at first. And then my brother's like, hey, look at that dot. Now, like, every time I gotta watch my anime on this TV, I'm, like, staring at that dot. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go, go through and give you a little bit of... Hmm. <sighs> oh, sorry. I have not been sleeping good here lately. But a male scoundrel is, starts out with a normal pistol and a... Uh, like a pistol blast or whatever, and a short sword or a long sword. I'm pretty sure they all start out with sword swords. Uh, Scout starts off with a like a rifle and a you know basically they all start out with different guns, but uh, they all use a short sword. And since this mainly sticks to swords, it doesn't really matter. But the scoundrel has the highest stat. Uh. So I'm going to do custom, portraits. Um, attributes. I probably went to do something on this game before, so... I'm like... I know what I'm doing. Let's see. 14, 14. And like, this is all I'm gonna upgrade is these two. Most people are like, oh, come on, dude, upgrade more stuff. But really, that's all I ever use. Actually, no, I want some charisma, too. So, I'm gonna try to bring that up to the same level. Okay, there we go. I got 16 constitution, intelligence, and charisma. That makes it to where I have, like, more attributes, like, uh, more skills. Charisma makes it to where I'm, like, a persuasive talker, because I like to be in, being persuasive and, like, getting, you know, free parking spaces and everything, because you can actually do that. Just this one guy tried to, like, oh, you'll, you'll see it eventually. And constitution, uh, actually, no, I'll get rid of my constitution. Turn that up. Because, yeah, I like being protected. But, I like being, like, I, I like having my intelligence and charisma way better. Actually, can I accept with that going on? Okay, no, it, it, it's illegal to do that, I guess. Alright, so now we're in here, where I usually go for treat injury, persuade, demolitions, Computer use, repair, security, stealth, and awareness. I maxed out everything. I ne I've never done that before. Never. Like, I usually, like, up to, like, I, I don't know how, but I've just got every single stat. Like, maxed out. I can't do anything with any, uh, like, anything else. But, like, if I was limited to having four of these filled up, I would go Treat Injury, Persuade, 
demolitions and um let's see uh what was the other one I used to do? I think it's computer use. Unless my like repair is better, which like like cheaper. So So feet. Okay, so I already have critical strike. Now you guys will probably think that this is really good for me, which it is, but I don't really like using um, the um, critical strike. So I usually go for flurry, empathy at level two. At level three, I usually go for gearhead. Level four, um, improved flurry. Level five, I usually go there and then I just I, I stick around these the um the gearheads the flurries the empathies and the cautions and then when I get those filled I move on to armor proficiency um and then usually I just kinda like I find like I start upgrading other things, which I'm pr I imagine I'm probably gonna start upgrading my implants. Which there's um there's one class you automatically start with the ability to have implants. I don't know which one it is, but there is one that you can start with. I believe it's Scout, but don't hold me to it. Um, no, where in Tampa the whole name? Mm mm, no, 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 no. You know what, screw it. I gave you guys a couple of chances to come up with a good name, but now I'm just going to put my name. Now, it was originally supposed to be capital A, capital B, OMB for my account name, but my friend messed it up and he was creating it, so it was, you know, capital A, lowercase, everything else. But that, th how I usually spell my name is capital A, capital B, Lowercase OMB. And done. Okay. So, just to clarify, my guy is uh, named Abom Clark. He is a scoundrel with that face. He has 5 health starting off with, and 15, like, defense or whatever. Um, he has 8 strength, 8 dexterity, 9 constitution, 18 intelligence, 8 wisdom, 17 charisma. Um, he has a minus 1 to fortitude, a regular 1 for reflex, and a minus 1 on will, which is willpower. Um, he starts off with, like, flurry. And I will tell you that there was actually a time in the second game, I didn't really like the game very much, except for the fact that they made the hand-to-hand -hand combat so freaking powerful. I literally went through an entire playthrough, except, you know, the final boss fight, doing nothing but hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like, when I started getting to those final boss fights where I had to fight, like, a whole bunch of Sith in a row, I started using my lightsaber for for everything else. I was using hand to hand combat. Well, technically it'd be hand to sword or hand to gun, but anyway, that's the Republic. Four thousand years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic uh, ver uh, verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith ar uh, armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malik's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taris, a Jedi battle fleet em uh, engages the force of Dark Malik in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. How'd I do? I, I know I messed up a couple spots, but I have a bit of a stutter. Well, it's not really a stutter. How do I put it? I don't know really what it's called, but 
like a couple people I know, we speak like before we like most people are like ah oh, yeah think before we speak. Oh we like think before we even know what we're we speak before we even know what we're saying. So the words kind of come out mumbled like mumbled and not right sometimes. I don't know what that's called, but a couple people I know have it, and we usually end up, like, stuttering when that happens. Bang. Bang. I missed the last bang. By a stiff battle fleet. And our spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. That came, uh, that came out like horribly wrong. But you can, you know, read the subtitles. It's uh, uh, like, for some reason the voice, and this is like really bad. The tone must be off on the speaker. Um, who are you? I'm Grant Logo. Enter with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here at the Andar Spire. You were a cop at the ship. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Basil. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Uh, who's Basil? Basil is the commanding officer of the Andar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation. How you used to smuggle spikes and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. Now that you signed on for this mission, you're part of the Republic fleet. And Vassal needs all troops at her side during this attack. Seriously? He has the nerve to insult me, call me shady, and then just go on and like, hey, you know what, I need your help. I'm, I'm, I'm about to say oath or no oath, I'm heading to the escape pods, but you know what, I actually romanced Bastila before, so let's go find Bastila. Hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Man, that is so cringy. The sound, just... Stop the voices. Okay. I know my equipment is. If you don't know, he'll tell you pretty much the same thing. I do. Uh, I will. It's in the Foot Locker, right behind you. You open it. You got your stealth field generator, your computer spots, your security spots, your blaster pistol, your short sword, your clothing, and two med packs. Which now I can hit start and. I got something turned on to where, like, if, it, if I can't equip something, it's not going to show up uh, in the things. So, like, I'm pretty sure once I equip the sword, the, okay. For some reason, it's not working. Go through all this. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, that should have been on. Why not? Why? Stop the hate child. Oh well. It's not working. Well now you can Okay, let's move out. We should stay together. You'll have more success with the party than on your own. If you talk to him without equipping your stuff, he'll pretty much be like, Hey, you need to get dressed, so Okay, so since this is the very first time you can't unequip track. But don't worry, I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay, so, uh, this is an original Xbox game, but if you're using the Xbox 360 to play, you hit RB, the trash, you hit RB again, you're back to me. Trask me, trask me, trask me, trask me, trask me. Trask. You stay at trask. Go up to the door, there you go. The door is open, you better take the lead again. It you back after that. So now I'm back. It's like being me. This is Corporal Nathan. 
The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against the firepower. All he actually sounds like that. Like, that was Kark contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar's fire crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help the men battle. No. There's a map of the Endar's Man. fire and a copy of Kark's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. This, this, this picture that's in your head, people. He says, if, 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 like, if Kong says things are bad, then it's gotta be true. Do you not see the freaking laser fire going on outside the ship? Do you not feel it being hit by said lasers? Do you not see the freaking pile of rubble here that the droid's trying to fix and he doesn't even realize that he's gonna get destroyed? That door's locked. Not enough to to open. You'll have to use your security skill on it if we want to get past. I believe if you don't have a security uh, skill, you can use um, a security spike. And I'm not sure if you can do this in this game, but in the second game, you can bash open a door if you don't have it. I'm not sure if you can do that in this game, though. I only have to get my security skill because I maxed out my freaking shit. Must be the advanced boarding party. Fuck the public! I'm going for the guy with the gun. Bastard. Taking my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need it to know that. Game glitching. Game glitching. Oh well. Now, if you took any damage from that fight, I'm pretty sure he'll tell you to heal up. But I did not, so he won't tell me to heal up. Or maybe, maybe it's not this fight, I think it's the next fight. One of these fights will tell you to heal up if you take damage, or regardless, I don't know. You see, you miss a lot of flurry, because it, you're meant to. You're pretty much going in there, swinging a sword, like, randomly. And yes, I realize I'm, lo I'm dying right now. But my throws are really low, keep that in mind. Also, something you won't notice me doing a lot is, like, using my med packs. I'm just like that, I cannot use, like... I won't use my tags for some reason. They're just usually when I play games, I like to conserve my stuff. So, all right, go in here. Combat suits. Now I can equip the long sword as my primary weapon. Short sword as my secondary. I don't have any arm shields. Nothing like that. Already got that body. That box. Oh no, it's gonna heal. Oh, it's gonna heal. I know I said I didn't heal a lot, but I'm like at three health. Two health, probably, actually. Because remember, my starting health was five, and I'm at less than half, so I'm probably at like two, 1.5, something like that. So I'm just gonna boop or snoop. I, I keep doing that here lately for some reason. I'm stopping to grab money! I'm gonna live forever! You hit easier if the person doesn't have a sword out. If they're like using guns, you can hit really easy. And yes, I realize I'm dying again. I don't care. If I die, Kraft goes take care of the last guy. And if he, if if Jeff dies, I will I will seriously hurt him myself. Oh, all three hits hit. All three hit. All three hit. All three hit. Now I'm just gonna backslash this guy. I blame you for me taking so much damage, Trask. I forgot the camera operates weird on this. You gotta push the opposite way you wanna go. 
pisses me off. So like, if you want to turn the camera left, you gotta hit right. Oh man, the poor droid. Oh my god, the parts though. I'll fix you. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm pretty sure I got everything. Uh, four meds attack is good, so I'll just. I can't, I can't. Yeah, you probably don't want to go with Larry like I did. Couldn't you have used the force or something like that? Wait, I know, I know a way to get past this. Run away. Oh, I got the gun. Flurry the shit out of him. Flurry! Flurry! Alright, I don't need to heal right now. I'm doing pretty good on health. You really don't want to go for Flurry. I have an obsession with going for it just because it's like three attacks in a row. I'm like, oh yay, more. But it's probably better to like stick with you what you had before. It probably would have been smarter for me to go for Empathy. So for now, I'm just going to like switch into my Critical Strike and until I get Flurry better, I'm just going to stick with that. Damn it, quit missing. Oh, the level up mechanics in this game are really good because when you re reach like low health, you can just level up and go, oh yay. Okay, I can't upgrade my tree entry, but I can upgrade my persuasion, my demolitions, um, security, awareness stuff. I can't upgrade anything else, so I'm, just, I'm stuck with one. Feet, I'm going to go. Um, empathy, except, defense just went down to 10, was 11 before, damn it, well, I thought flurry stuff. Not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pod. We better head that way too. This is what Mantle alive. But once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the entire spire with a galactic gun. If you approach this door with the gun, uh, with your gun, out, uh, Trask will yell at you and be like, hey, you need a melee weapon for this fight, pal. Um, another thing I liked about the, uh, the Seki game, which, it was one of the few things I liked, is it actually said, like, when something was empty, that way, like, I don't keep coming back to the backpack. Oh, yay. Okay. Damn it, Trash, you got me stuck, pal. Move it! What? Err, getting me stuck like that, you son of a bitch. Loopy stupid. Oh, by the way, if you don't level up before you come to this door, he'll yell at you until you level up, and if you try to hack the door, it won't open. You actually have to open it. I'm gonna handle this part. It's sad. I'm actually going to tell you guys something that they don't tell you in game, so it's not a spoiler. You actually have to get a DLC to figure it out, but Trask doesn't die in there. He becomes a dark Jedi, and you have to, uh, if you do the add-on content, you have to kill him. 
which is sad. No, don't load. Save. Okay, um, so that's all we got time for on this episode. Please tune in on our next episode. I promise it will get more exciting and I'll get better. There was a, actually one point in time, I was like, beast mode cowboy. Like I was annihilating. But, I always suck, like, right first off. It happens to me in all games. I will die many times over when I first start off. But then, like, when it gets, like, halfway through the game, I'll start kicking ass. So. It just, it, it depends on how you level up. And I always try to give myself, like, the stuff that's really good at medium level. On um, first level, so. Anyways, hasta la pasta. See you later. And it didn't stop. Alright, let's try that again. Boop. Nope, okay. Try again. Okay. Stop. Stop, stop!